Hey y'all, it's the Southern Woods here, and guess what we're doing? Guess. Do you have a guess? Do you? Let me tell you. We're going to be reviewing this cup. N n not this. Who cares about that? Not me. I don't like that. What even is that? Salsa! Salsa, salsa! Ooh, we're gonna be reviewing some salsa today. Boys and girls and everyone else. Today we are reviewing Desert Pepper Authentic Salsa Del Rio Medium Heat Flavored Salsa. So, before we crack it open, let's read about it, shall we? Ah, it even has a story for us. <laughs> Not unlike the time of day when the sun and the moon share the sky. Salsa Del Rio is perched precariously between relentless heat and refreshing cool. An intriguing and en enigmatic balance that flows together as gracefully as its name, allowing even the mildest of hearts to flirt with fire without the threat of getting burned. Let's read the ingredients before we get into those. Ingredients. Green chili peppers. Onions. Tomatillos. Salt, lime juice, water, distilled vinegar, cilantro, spices, and garlic. No preservatives, no additives, gluten-free, vegan. Okay. Straight out of El Paso, Texas. Ooh, that was a crisp, very crisp crack of the can. It smells a lot like the last green salsa that I reviewed. Let's check it out. Alrighty, y'all. Look at that. Look at that green. A nice baby barf green. Well, if I had to guess right away, I would assume that this is fine or medium fine. Let's find out. It is starting to rain. First bite. Let's go. Right away, I taste a very, almost like a sour, like a, an acidic, earthy taste. That's why I'm first getting out of this. It's on the border of medium, fine, and fine. As the texture. I think I know why it tastes so, I don't know, citrusy and different and unique. Man, it's really raining now. That's because of tomatillos or whatever. They're not tomatoes, they're the little tomato green things. I think that's the big difference in this also. It is really good. It's very different, but at the same time, it's a perfect example of what fine salsa should be. And that's delicious. <laughs> that's what fine salsa should be. But at the same time, it tastes authentic. It tastes really authentic. And that's a good thing. I'm really enjoying this. The rain's really coming down. 
So I'll start wrapping it up. It's a very citrusy, earthy, I don't know, electric flavor. And it tastes very uh, natural. Homage. Homage. It's a real word. Look it up. That's real good. And I think the real difference and what makes it stand out and so good and special is the ta tomato tillos. I like it. I like it a lot. This is great salsa. One last bite and we'll review. I'm giving this one a solid a solid four out of five stars. This is a great, solid, fine, medium fine, green salsa. Salsa del Rio. So eight out of ten, four out of five stars. Definitely check this out. It is different, it's electric, it is citrusy goodness. It has my seal of approval. So it should have yours. But anyways, y'all, that was my review of this salsa. I hope you liked it. I liked it. Southern Woods out.